Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kamlesh Wadhyar, Professor Department of Pharmacy, SKB College of Pharmacy. And I am here today to deliver a lecture on optimization technique and statistical designs. Uh, so let's see. You know, uh, basically the uh, question generally asked is what is experimental design? In an experimental design, uh, we deliberately change one or more process variable or factors in order to observe the effects the changes have on one or more response variables. Experimental design economically maximizes the information. The design of experiment is an efficient procedure for planning experiments so that the data obtained can be analyzed to yield valid and objective conclusions. Well chosen experimental design maximizes the amount of information that can be obtained for a given amount of experimental efforts. Design of experiment begins with the determining the objective of an experiment and selecting the process factor for the particular study. So basically optimization is a process of finding the best way of using the existing resources while taking into the account of all the factors that influence a decision in any experiment. So uh, in a nutshell it, it, it is nothing but the choosing the best element from some set of available alternative. And I say that it is a basic process to make anything perfect. The term optimized is to define, uh, basically it is defined to make perfect, effectual, faultless and functional as possible. It is a process of finding the best way of using the existing resources while taking into account all the factors that influence the decision in any experiment. Optimization in pharmaceuticals basically refers to changing one variable at a time so to obtain the solution for the challenging formulations. Modern pharmaceutical animal optimization involves systematic design of experiment, we generally call it DOE, to improve the formulation irregularities. Now, why optimization is necessary? Basically, it, is, uh, helps, it helps in cost reduction, safety, less error, time saving, and redu reproducibility. Basic objective of pharmaceutical optimization is to determine the variable then to quantify the response with respect to the variable and last we get and we find out the optimum. What are the basic advantages? The advantages are to yield the best solution within the area of experiment, require the free few experiment to achieve an optimum formulation, easy to trace and rectify the problem in better way and last is cost and time saving. The basic terms which are generally used in optimization or in experimental design is factor. It is an assigned variable such as concentration, temperature or any other factor. It may be quantitative or may be qualitative in nature, maybe in the percentage or maybe uh, which are not in numerical. Example polymer, grade, types of excipient and etc. Second is the level. Level of factors are the values or designation which are generally assigned to the factor. It may be temperature like 20 degree, 30 degree, 50 degree and so on, concentration and pH. Another is response. It is basically an outcome of the experiment. Uh, it may be like hardness, maybe disintegration time, maybe release rate, etc. Effect, it is the change in response caused by the varying the level. It gives basically the relationship between the various factors and various levels. And last is interaction, which is a very important part. It gives the overall effect of two or more variables. That is, com what is the combined effect of lubricant and glidant on the hardness of tablet. So basically, optimization parameters are of two types. Maybe it is defined as a problem type or maybe a variable type. Problem types are of two types, constant and unconstant. And variables, they are also two types, may be defined as a dependent and independent. Uh, when we talk about the problem type, it may be unconstant and may be constant. In unconstant optimization problem, there are no restrictions, like we have to make the hardest tablet or we have to prepare the viscous preparations. In constant, it involves certain constant in it, like to make the hardest tablet, but it may be disintegrated in 15 minutes. Variables may be of two types as we have discussed earlier, independent and dependent variables. Independent variables are under the control of formulator like filling of dye cavity, type of polymer, compression force, mixing time, etc. And dependent variables are the responses or the outcome that are developed into the independent variable. The more the variables that are present in the system, the more complications that are involved in the optimization technique. So, optimization parameters uh, related with the relationship between the independent and dependent variable as we have discussed earlier, representing greater than 2 makes graphically it is very uh, impossible. Higher the variable, higher the complication. 
So response surface representing the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable that is the response. As you can see in the graph x1 and x2 related with y that is called as the response variable. Now classic optimization involves the application of calculus to the basic problem for maximum and minimum function. But it has a limited application. Problems that are not too complex and that do not have more than two variables, we can use this. But for more than two variables, graphical presentation is very complicated and impossible. Using calculus, we can solve this with the help of regression uh, analysis. Now, what is statistical design? Now, basically, statistical design is technically divided into two types. Maybe experimentation is continued as optimization proceeds as AVOP, that is called as evolutionary operations and simplex method. And second is uh, experimentation is completed before the optimization takes. That is, it is represented by the classical mathematics model and second is search method. For the second type, it is very necessary that relationship between any dependent variable and one or more independent variable should be known. There are the two possible approach. One is a theoretical approach. If the theoretical equation is known, no experimentation is required. And uh, second is the experimental approach. Uh, it is also called as the empirical method with a single independent variable formulated formulate our experiment with the several limits. So, the, the, uh, we will discuss about the various type of experimental design like completely randomized design, completely block design, factual design, full and fractional, response surface design, it may be central composite, box bracket and three level and two level full factorial design. Choice of experiment basically depend upon the knowledge level and uh, generally the resources available and objective of experiment. For example, discovering the important factor, the important, we, we can go for the placket Berman fractional factorial. For estimating the effect and interaction of the several factor, we can have full factorial and the fractional factorial and take design. For optimization, yes, we can go for the central composite, simplex, lattices, de-optimal and box breaker. Now, factorial design is an experiment whose design can consist of two or more factor, uh, each with different possible values or level. This is generally introduced by the Fisher in 1926. Factorial design applies in the optimization technique. Factorial design depends on independent variable for development of new formulation and factorial design also depending upon the level as well as on the coding. For example, we can have coding such as level such as low, intermediate and high and coding such as minus 1 for the low, 0 for the intermediate and uh, plus 1 for the high. So, uh, this is regarding the basic of optimization and still design. Uh, hope you have understand about the optimization and uh, thank you so much.